Okay, let's take a moment to look at a version control system in a small project environment. Oftentimes I'll be working on something and maybe it's a web project and I'll work on it for a few hours, maybe a whole day, maybe a couple days, but I might step away from it for a day. And I don't exactly always remember which files I've changed, so I don't know what to upload to the FTP. Then something might break and I need to know which files I touched. Sometimes I didn't mean to touch files, but I did and I don't know which ones they are. So a version control system such as Subversion is an excellent way to manage that. Now using a Mac you kinda get used to and lazy about nice GUI interfaces so I'll introduce you to a pro or an application called Versions today which will do exactly that. It'll give you a nice clean front end to a very powerful code source code management utility. So let's first by start by creating a new repository directory this will hold the database for the source code the CVS controlled databases and let's let's take a look at uh, versions we're going to create a new local repository and we're going to tell it where we want it and what we want to call our project so now that I've created this new repository now I have a bunch of code that I've already been working on and I want to add it to this so that Subversion will manage this for me. So let's take a look at importing code. It's going to ask where the code's coming from. Move this down for you. So that's the code I want to import and I want to import it into this repository. Every time I commit something to the database, it's going to ask me to insert a message. That way I can look back at my previous revisions and remember what I was thinking when I did that. So uh, this will be an initial import. So it's adding everything to the repository now. Almost done. All right. Now the fun thing is I can actually delete my original code because it's now managed in the repository. If you look in the directory we created, it's a bunch of database stuff. Now you shouldn't change any of this and the readme will tell you the same. But you can interact with it through the command line interface for subversion or through a nice application like this. So if I want to continue working on my project, I need to check out a current local copy from the repository. So let's check this out. And where do I want to put it? I want to put it back where I had it before. So it's copying things from the database to my local directory in order for me to work on it. And it's going to tell me that I have checked out a local working copy. And here it's showing me all the files from that. And alternatively, I can show just the things that have changed. I haven't made any changes yet, so this list is empty. But let's make some changes and see what happens. So let's take the code that we just checked out and grab it and put it into TextMate. Move this down. Expose versions here. And let's say, let's do this. Instantaneously, it's telling me which file I changed. And if I want to, I can tell exactly what I've changed. Compare differences between the initial import and my modified file. I'll hit compare and it'll show me exactly what changed. Now this is great because I can just go on working and not really think about too much of you know I can hit the files that I need to hit and not think about trying to remember them all. If I go back to versions occasionally a refresh isn't a bad idea so it's telling me, you know, which files I've changed. Now if I like the changes I've made, I can commit them to as a new version.
to the repository. If I say commit, it's going to show me which files I've changed, and it's going to ask me for a comment. Committing the changes, and if I like, I can look at the timeline, and I can see what changes have been made to the database. So that's it. You can continue working and it will manage everything for you. Now for me this is taking an extra step out of managing my own source code. So next week we're going to look at the same kind of thing only we're going to try removing the FTP upload and try to manage and host everything locally and uh, using virtual hosts with Apache. Sounds like fun? Please join us next week. We'll be right back.